Hey, what's up everybody? It's Nick at the Lost River Drive-In, and tonight I wanted to show you guys a few pickups that I've made recently. Now, if you're a patron of mine, you've seen three of these, but I think in total I have like, I don't know if I just count right offhand, eight recent pickups. So if you're a patron, I did an FYE video for my patrons on my Patreon, and you guys saw me shop and get a few of these, but I went out and got some more things today, and I said, screw it. Let's put a video together and let's just give people an update on a little Blu-ray haul because I haven't done one of these in a while. So first and foremost, I ended up snagging The Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, as you guys know, these are my favorite. Um, you know, this is my Spider-Man, Andrew Garfield. Uh, my favorite Spider-Man. Uh, I, You know, I love these two movies. I love them in Spider-Man No Way Home. Uh, I didn't own this one for whatever reason. I own The Amazing Spider-Man too, but I didn't own this one. I didn't even realize it. And I was like wow, I don't own The Amazing Spider-Man on Blu-ray. I guess I've always just watched it on streaming or whatever. So it was $4 on Blu-ray at this store that I went to called GameSwap. So yeah, I'm going to pick it up. So this is The Amazing Spider-Man on Blu-ray. Again, can't go wrong with some Andy Garfield in your life. Next up is going to be the Blu-ray of House of a Thousand Corpses. And again, another movie I did not own on Blu-ray. Uh, if you guys have been fans of my channel for a while, you've seen the edition of House of a Thousand Corpses I have. It's like the cardboard, you know, flip-out book DVD that I've just loved so much. I just, for whatever reason, never felt the need to upgrade it. Again, $4.99 for this Blu-ray. And I was like, how am I not going to get it? Uh, I've never watched this transfer. I don't know what this movie looks like on Blu-ray. I also don't know if there's any new special features than were on the DVD version I have, but uh, upgrading it in quality, absolutely, I'm going to do that. So uh, I picked up House of a Thousand Corpses as well. Next up is another movie that I've always just watched on streaming and never purchased, and that is The Strangers on Blu-ray. Now, you guys know how fond I am of The Strangers Pray at Night. I absolutely adore that film. I do own that film on Blu-ray and saw that many times in theaters. It's my preferred version. I think it's just because it's a little less bleak. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with that because this movie has serious staying power, and I think it's fantastic. Um, but I didn't own the first one. And I didn't know why. And again, this was three ninety nine. So I was like, "Dude, come on! I'm 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 making out, I'm making out like a bandit here with these movies. Great deals, and they're great movies. So the strangers on Blu Ray, again, can't go wrong. Next up is a more recent movie, and it's one again that I've watched on streaming the three times that I have seen this movie and haven't hadn't bought it yet. So I picked up The Invisible Man. Uh, wow, what a freaking movie! And a quick little aside when it comes to this movie i cannot think about this movie and not think about the beginning of covid because this was like the last movie that was really doing well at the box office before everything got shut down two years ago so i have a bittersweet um relationship a love-hate relationship with this movie um i'm kidding i love the movie i don't hate it it's not the movie's fault uh, but this is such a great movie i just i love this movie so much i think that it is truly a shame that Universal really shot the bed with rebooting their dark universe, you know, their old monster movies, because, wow, was this fantastic. Tom Cruise is the mummy, not so much. But The Invisible Man, absolutely fantastic. So yeah, pick this one up for eight bucks. I'm going to save the coolest thing for last. So the next thing we're going to talk about is VHS on Blu-ray. Uh, and again, I just love the way that sounds. I bought VHS on Blu-ray. What? But yeah, VHS on Blu-ray. Uh, I really like the first two VHS movies. I thought VHS Viral was absolute trash. And I haven't seen VHS 94 yet, though I've heard very good things about it. So I am looking forward to that. I do plan on picking that one up. But I didn't own this one because this was, you know, a staple on Netflix. I don't know if it's still there or not. But anytime I ever watched it, it was on Netflix. It was one of the recommended horror movies. So I didn't really have to go far or do much work to watch this movie. So VHS on Blu-ray. Again, really, really um, dig this movie. Especially the, uh, I like you. Then what I would argue is Shyamalan's best film, although you could make a case for Signs, so I haven't completely decided yet, but Split, uh, James McAvoy's best performance of his career, in my opinion. Uh, I even think it says that on here. Uh, wow, it says one of M. Night's best <laughs> films and uh, the role of James McAvoy's career. So huh, me and uh, IGN and Variety agree. Um, I think that this is... 
top tier uh, thriller right here. I love this movie. McAvoy just makes this movie. You could care less about anything else that happens in this movie. James McAvoy is this movie. He's absolutely fantastic in this movie. It's like a transcendent performance. I remember not being sold on it with the trailers for whatever reason. Watched it one night on streaming, you know, a year or so after it came out. F fell in love with this movie. Uh, Split. Absolutely love Split. And then the end of the trilogy, Glass. Uh, again, one of Shyamalan's better movies, I would say. It's not in the same tier as Signs and Split. It's still good. This is not a this is not a misfire, in my opinion, by Shyamalan. And I think that is again just due to a lot of the the acting. Um, James McAvoy is great again. Bruce Willis and Samuel L. Jackson. It's a great cast. Um, I just I, I really really enjoy this movie and it's sarah paulson as well I, her name was escaping me i wanted to get it right i'm an american horror story nut how did i not think of that off the top of my head shame me but glass i think this is a really good movie i enjoy this movie i did see this in theaters after totally missing the boat on split i was like i'm not gonna miss the boat with glass i'm gonna be there opening night and i really do enjoy this movie though not as strong this is still a very solid um i'd say upper tier Shyamalan movie so glass and then by far my favorite thing I picked up recently, and this is just before the nostalgia of it. I believe I used to own this when I was a kid, or it was in my household, I mean. And uh, I saw this at this store today. It's so retro. I just, I had to get it. And I wouldn't do this for a lot of movies, but Scream on VHS. Um, and it's in fantastic condition, too. I gotta say, for one of those buyback places, I really do think that this is in great condition. Um, but I just, I had to get it. I had to get it. You know, I love... Did they rewind? Wow, they rewound. They're they're fantastic. What nice people. I, I don't know what it is, but like this era, you know, mid to late 90s and VHS and everything, there's just something so nostalgic about it that I saw this and I'm like, how am I not gonna get this? Like what what would what would possess me to not buy this? It's just so cool. It transports me back to my childhood and it's, you know, one of my favorite horror series. So I had to pick it up. Um, you know, Scream, Evil Dead, Halloween, franchises like that. If I find VHSs out in the open, I'm going to buy them. Like, I'm just going to do it. And uh, this was the first time, to my knowledge, in years that I had seen Scream on VHS in a store. So, uh, yeah, this was my favorite pickup of this recent haul. So that is it for my Blu-ray horror haul, whatever you want to call it, because not all the movies were horror, not all of them were Blu-ray. You get the gist, okay? So what did you guys think of the things I have? Do you own all of these? Do you own some of them? Do you want to own them? Do you like them? Do you hate them? Are you ambivalent about them? Please let me know down in the comment section below. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel already if you haven't already. If you haven't already. And check me out on social media. Also, I just want to let you guys know, this store that I found, GameSwap, I, I absolutely love this place. I plan on going there many, many more times. I found it today for the first time, had no idea of its, its existence, and it has a plethora of items. Very well priced too. So expect some more Blu-ray haul videos uh, over the next few months, I'm sure. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. I appreciate you. And this is Nick at the Lost River Drive-In, and I am pulling out.